dear citizens, dear partners, and friends of solidarity between generations. More than a decade since the first celebration of the first European Day of Solidarity between Generations, we find ourselves in the times of unprecedented challenges. The pandemic has revealed structural deficiencies, which have met us unprepared when dealing with issues posed by demographic change. It has, at the same time, led to numerous noble examples of solidarity between European citizens, between younger and older people. Political institutions and decision makers at all levels should draw inspiration from these acts of solidarity and commit themselves to translate the European values into concrete steps and determined action. It is time to put equality into practice. Therefore, I'm pleased to note that demographic challenges are gaining prominence in the discussions of the key European institutions. In January, the Commission published the Green Paper on Aging, which serves as a basis for a broad public consultation. Members of the European Parliament contributed with a position paper adopted by the Interest Group on Solidarity Between Generations. We are currently working on the own initiative report of the Committee on Employment and Social Affairs related to demographic challenges and population aging. As a shadow reporter of the SND, I'm aware of the responsibility of the European Parliament has in order to propose a progressive and ambitious text that will help to ensure equality among people and among generations is put into practice. We should take advantage of the recently presented action plan for the implementation of the European Pillar of Social Rights and immediately proceed with its realization to prove our citizens that Europe is a place for equality life of all people at every age. Time for equality is now.